And you might think, well, is it worth the trouble? The lady in the champs would say so. On August the 13th, 1982, my brother was with his group, King Crimson, playing at the Greek Theater in Berkeley. Magnificent night in a wonderful outdoor theater. I remember it not only for the experience, but that was the night I first started signing autographs for my brother, Patricia Fripp, sister to Robert. <laughs> and the next day, they had a press conference. And I sat in, and a bearded, bespectacled, earnest young reporter said, Mr. Fripp, how was the show last night? And he said it was very good. And the young reporter said, well, that doesn't sound very enthusiastic. And my brother said, what you don't realize is that we are five and a half weeks into a world tour. And some nights, it's more than being good. It's more than the audience be being with you. Somehow it all comes together, and it's as if the angels descend from heaven on their silver clouds and play their golden trumpets. He said that has happened six times on this tour. It did not happen last night, but it was a very good concert. The following January, I left home for a five and a half week speaking tour. In the speaking world, this was known as the Ben Franklin Dinner Club Circuit. And you went many to small towns. Sometimes you got a Greyhound bus in. They were mature audiences who six times a year got together for dinner and a speaker. I went from 85 degrees above zero to 25 below with the three outfits of clothes. Three days before the end of the tour, I woke up and it had snowed. I had three car accidents in half an hour driving back to the airport. And at that time in America, there was a recession. However, four weeks into this tour, I found myself in Tyler, Texas. And because they had oil, they were doing very well. And it was the best venue of the five and a half weeks. It was a magnificent country club. There were 200 people. They were younger than most of these audiences. And you know, when you fit an audience perfectly into a room, there is a different energy. And I was meeting them and shaking hands, and they were, they were very warm and friendly. And then a woman walked in, I didn't recognize her, and she came to the desk and said, excuse me, I'm not a member of your, your club, but I have driven for two hours on the off chance that you'll let me hear your speaker, Patricia Fripp, because I'm a hair stylist, and she's in my business. And they were very gracious, and they let her sit down. And that night, wow, what a wonderful audience. And it was more than being good. It was more than the audience being with you. It was just wonderful. And as I made one last scan to make contact with the audience before my closing remarks, I looked at this young woman and tears were coming down her cheeks. And she came up to me, everyone had left and shook hands and said, this is the best program of the year. And she said, I know why I came. God wanted me to hear your message. And that one night in Tyler, Texas, it was worth leaving home for five and a half weeks. It was even worth three car accidents in half an hour because they weren't too serious. Because that night in Tyler, Texas,
It was as if the angels descended from heaven in silver clouds and played the golden trumpets. And when you have experienced that, you will do anything it takes to have it happen again. You will get up early. You will leave the comfort of home. When opportunity knocks, you will listen to your inner voice. You will sit down and focus, where do I start? You will mine the tapestry of your life for the content that will relate and help others. You will have the discipline of working through the process. And then one day, once the angels descend from heaven, you will know, I am now making this look effortless, and I can't wait to have it happen again. And if for one moment you think, can that really happen? Yes, because we all live in America, Canada, Australia, France, and India. We live in lands where anything is possible. And don't forget, you have a secret weapon. You have the world champion's edge. And you can grow up and be an award-winning speaker.